Hey guys, welcome back to Precision Rifle Network. Joel here. Today is three things I love about terminus actions. All right guys, so I'm gonna roll in some B-roll over the top here um, to show you a couple of the things that I actually love about Terminus Actions. It's kind of hard to do it out here at the range. I'd have to disassemble and yada yada. I'm gonna throw in the B-roll over the top while I'm talking. So um, the probably the first thing that I really like about the Terminus Actions is the 60 degree bolt throw and just how smooth the action is. So obviously machined very well, highest tolerances, absolute precision and perfection. The 60 degree throw is just short and precise. It's very fast. You know, whatever the percentage increase of speed is over a 90 degree throw, um, it's, a, it's significant enough to make me want to switch. It's just noticeably faster and it's very smooth and there's nice solid lockup. Some people have had 60 degree actions that are a little tough to get back open again really not on the terminus. And so 60 degree throw is just something that I think is kind of becoming a standard for precision rifle series style competition. You know, these types of rigs, the vast majority of them have 60 degree throws. It's just kind of becoming the standard. The next thing that I really love about terminus actions is the threaded trigger pins. This seems like such a simple thing, but when you don't have to carry, you know, a, a punch set and a hammer, and have a spot where you can tap out the, the pins on a trigger and have to replace a trigger. Here it's just Allen wrench, it's just threaded pins. They only go in one direction, obviously, and you can just pop the old one out, change out a new one. Like in the field, if you have a trigger go down and you have that kind of fast capability to switch them out, that's a huge plus. And I really love the threaded trigger pins uh, on Terminus Actions. And the last thing that I'm going to show you here is what I can do here on the range, and that is the switch barrel capability. So if you didn't know, Terminus Actions, the Zeus in particular, has two little set screws on each side of the action. Simply loosen those set screws and the barrels are just hand tightened. Now you could obviously torque them down, but then you take away the capability of being able to switch them out quickly, which is what I'm going to show you here today. So what I've got on right now is a 308 barrel that has been spun up by GA Precision. And um, I've got a strike without warning breakup on front and a Bushnell DMR2. Um, and this is the, what is it, three and a half to 21 up here on top, sitting in an MDT ACC chassis. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a few shots with the 308 down here, and then I'm going to remove this bolt take this barrel off and I've got a 223 Remington uh, barrel here and this was spun up by Straight Jacket Armory and this was a pre-fit and I'm going to spin this one on and we're going to swap out the barrel and the bolt, run a different magazine and switch over to 223 and fire that through here. just want to show you kind of how that works so let's get into it. All right, guys, zooming in on my hands and the gun here so you can see what I'm doing, at least to some degree. So we've got our Allen wrench here. Our set screws are right up in here. So we're just going to take these and back them out. Not all the way, just a few turns to get them loose. We're going to take our barrel. You can see just hand tightened in there. Thread this out carefully, protecting those threads, of course. And we'll take our 223. Get down against that shoulder. I like to give it just a one last little turn there. Make sure we're seated all the way. And then we're gonna tighten these back down. Again, don't crank these, it's just snug. Just need to be snug against that little 
it's not the threads there's like a little channel that's cut in there you probably won't be able to see that very well but there's like a channel right around there that's been recessed and cut those threads or those set pins lean right up against those guys there and keep that barrel from turning back out and of course we also need to swap the bolt because 223 won't fit 308 so we just take these here's our 223 that in We've got our mag here with some 223 ammo let's go ahead and get some shots down there with the 223 It's real time folks and so let's walk down and just check those groups real quick and I'll show you how far off of the 3080 the 223 was just because that's a lot of questions some people have is like when you switch barrels well how far off is everything that you have to readjust to so let's go down and I'll show you my very first shot while I was trying to figure out exactly where I had last left the 308 was right here and then I made my correction and there's three shots right in here in about, oh, I don't know. It's, it's small. It's less than a half an inch. And that was my 308 100 yard zero. And then we swapped barrels and I came back with the 223 and put a group down here. And you can see that I'm probably about a half an inch low and about half an inch to one inch left. And that is three shots that are probably a third of an inch down there so it's not much of a shift pretty cool capability Thought I'd just throw in there the ammo that I'm using because a lot of guys just kind of always want to know that information so um, I've got the federal uh, federal gold medal match this is with the Sierra Match Kings the 175 grain fairly standard for the 308 and for the 223 I'm using the Fiocchi Exacta Match, and some might be like, huh? <laughs> You're using Federal Gold Medal Match, and then over here you got Fiocchi? Well, guys, I, I kind of wish that Fiocchi would hear my videos and sponsor me with their ammunition because I've ran their, their 223, their 308, and their 6.5 Creedmoor Exacta Match ammunition, and it's good. I mean, it performs really, really well, and so um, I've got no problem using Fiocchi. So this is the uh, 77 grain Match Kings in here, 223 Fiocchi Exacta Match. And um, so the mags that I'm using are both from Accurate Mag. I have never had issues with the Terminus Action or the MDT ACC chassis. I haven't had to tune or tweak anything running Accurate Mags. And as you saw here today, the 308 loaded and ran just fine, and switching to the, the 223 loaded and ran just fine. So at any rate, guys, that's what I wanted to show you today. So make sure you hit the description below and look for a uh, link to Terminus Actions. And if you're looking to build a custom rifle and you need a Remington 700 footprint, Joel over at Terminus has got you covered. And they are awesome products. Hopefully you found something useful in the video today, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure and check the affiliate links below to all the great products down there. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more great videos from Precision Rifle Network.